time to play with the number 90's caller box. In this video, we're going to dive into some of those scroller tips as featured in this month's zine. So let's get to it. A couple of extra supplies you may need. A pencil. A palette. And this one's very well loved. Two pots of water. One to clean your brush and one to keep it clean between applications. A sponge, any soft one will do. And we're also going to be using the plastic wrap around this pad that's included in the box. Side note, this plastic could also be used as a palette, not just for fun textures. We're going to start with the background. Using the scroller menu as a rough square. Not being too precious about it, just looking for a rough guide, as not all of the background is going to be the same colour. It's always a good idea to erase any dark pencil lines. You don't want them showing through into your artwork. Now we're going to create a wash. Just add water. The more water you add, the lighter your wash. The transparency makes it ideal for backgrounds. And these acrylics are super pigmented, so even when diluted, they're still lovely and bright. Grab your dry sponge and dip that in the wash, then swipe over the page. Super quick and easy way to apply lots of colour at once, while keeping the texture smooth so it's still nice to work back over the top of. Let that fully dry so we can move on to our new layer where we're going to mix a new colour. Grab the yellow again to put onto the palette and mix in some blue. Mm, try not to do too much blue like I just did, but that's okay, we can add some more yellow. See what new colours and shades and tones you can create by mixing on the palette. You can even add in a little white. Adding in more white to the other colours will make them more opaque. Just add a touch for opacity and for more to create a creamier version of that colour that you want. Time for the fun bit where we're going to make some texture. And this is where that plastic wrap from the canson pad comes in handy. By dipping into the paint and then onto the page, we can create a fun dappled texture. There are lots of ways to create fun texture with this box. You could even try using a leaf like our featured artist. We're going to let that dry again. Of course, the more paint on the page, the longer it takes to dry. So I've used this time just to clean off my paintbrush so it's ready for the next round. Keep your acrylics activated by dropping in some clean water. You can tell that the page is still wet as it will have a glossy sheen to it. Once dry, these paints will not reactivate with water, so you can go over with confidence. You can also grab a cup while that dries. Okay, now that's dry, we can sketch over the top and not interfere with the layer underneath. And we're going for a leafy, seaweedy type, organic looking shape. Something we can draw with the Black Lyra paint marker. This Lyra permanent marker is activated in the same way a paint marker is. You just shake it and pump it. The marker is super opaque black, so it can be used to form outlines over the acrylics with ease. It really is important to make sure that layer underneath is fully dry though, to avoid any unwanted muddying. It can also be watered down in a palette to use with your paintbrush. Use the point angle of this brush for finer details. I'll finish my cuppa while I wait for more paint to dry. Now we're going to do some dotting with the white. These fluid acrylics come with a brilliant detailed applicator, so you can use them like a pen to draw directly down onto your designs. And this white acrylic is super thick, very opaque, so has no trouble going over that black marker. Also worth noting that this pen will go over the white again, so you can correct any mistakes quite easily. Dotting on some blue here, just for some visual interest. Another fun way to make some marks is by using the opposite end of the paintbrush. This way you get a little bit more control over your paints. I did not wait for the blue dots to dry. Acrylics do stain clothes, so be careful not to get them on your outfit. Once you're finished with the paintbrush, you can easily wipe this clean with a tissue or even a spare rag.
When you use acrylics in this way, you're left with a slightly raised texture. They do go down a little bit more as they dry, but as you can see, some are still quite raised. And that's one of the really fun things about acrylics. And those are our scrawler tips for the number 90 scrawler box done. Like and subscribe, all that jazz. But until next time, scrawlers, keep scrawling.